that was not my sense when I was there. I got into cabinet 2017, and I was there till November 2020. During that period of time, no scandal came out. No, nothing came out that that showed um, that anybody was guilty of any corrupt act. Also, when I became Attorney General, I made it very clear to the Prime Minister when he asked me to become Attorney General, and he was glad that I, I, I took this position, that I'm very aware of malfeasance in office. And as Attorney General, I will not preside over the legal aspect of the government and allow people to just run roughshod with their corruption whilst I sit in cabinet, because whilst I sit in cabinet, while I may not be directly involved in any corruption, that would be my colleague. So I told him very pointedly, I would not be a part of that. And he said, well, that's why I'm asking you to become the attorney general, because I know you will not tolerate any part of that. So from what we experienced when I was there, there was none of that. I don't, I don't know what happened before. When he found evidence that ministers were involved in activities that they shouldn't be involved in, he took them out of cabinet. He fired them. He, he let the public know that he would not tolerate that. In one particular instance, he even said that he would ask the particular member of cabinet to resign from the House of Representatives. He couldn't make that decision to remove that person. Only the people from that division could do that, but he was officially requesting that. But he completely removed that person from cabinet. He came to the public. I think he did at least two or three press conferences where he, re where he um, relayed different happenings in different ministries to openly declare that he would not support that, he would not countenance that. So I don't see how much more he could have done. And there is only so much that one person can do as well. When you go to cabinet, you all you are take an oath and you're all equally responsible for what you do in your ministries.